Until we have laptops with collapsing or expanding screens, you're never going to outdo the two universes. Yet the Dell XPS 17 comes genuinely close by supersizing its highly respected premium PC. Dell has made a machine with all the screen space you could need, yet in a structure you can pretty much haul around. The Dell XPS 17 begins at just shy of 2,000 pounds getting you a form with a 12th Gen Core i7-12700H processor, a RTX 3050 GPU and a full HD screen. From that point, it extends up with custom choices to a Core i9, a RTX 3060, 64GB of RAM, and a 2TB SSD with a 17 inches UHD Plus display, yours for around £3,600. My survey test is someplace in the center, with the Core i7, the RTX 3060 and the 4K screen, yet with a 1TB SSD and 32GB of Smash. This spec comes in at a somewhat more reasonable £2,709. Plan and Console Thin and light by 17 inches PC norms. Good USB-C connectivity with package sorta HDMI adapter. Console is exceptionally open and agreeable to type on. There's no rejecting that the Dell XPS 17 is a major PC, with a work area impression of generally 38 cm by 25 cm when shut, think a decent measured hardback footstool book. Nonetheless, it's not decisively greater than some 15.6 inches laptops, and Dell has given a valiant effort to keep it generally thin and light. It's under 20 mm thick at the back and a decent 6 mm more slender at the front, with the bended edges causing it to appear to be much slimmer. The weight, somewhere in the range of 2.17 kg and 2.57 kg, contingent upon your spec, is somewhat high for the day-to-day -day drive or journey to the bistra. Yet it shouldn't kill your neck and shoulders on the off chance that you truly do need to take it to the workplace or out on a periodic excursion. The materials will be recognizable from the XPS 13 and XPS 15, all intense metallic compounds on the cover and the base, with a carbon fiber board encompassing the console and touchpad and an almost zero bezel glass fronted display. You will not get a 17 inches screen in anything a lot more modest, and the form feels lavish, strong and vigorous. It's near difficult to recognize the inherent webcam when the on light isn't sparkling, yet it's situated where it ought to be, at the top instead of the lower part of the screen. The resolution is nothing exceptional, yet the quality is very great, with good normal tones and an even openness. Connectivity is somewhat better compared to with the XPS 15. With space for two USB-C, Thunderclap 4 ports on each side of the unit, both supporting DisplayPort and USB PD. There's likewise a standard SD card peruser and a sound jack on the right-hand side, while Dell mindfully packages a USB 3.0 sort and HDMI 2.0 adapter. There's no Ethernet connectivity, however that is neither strange nor quite a bit of an issue, given the installed 2x2MIMO Wi-Fi 6. In the meantime, you have Bluetooth 5.2 for your mouse and remote headsets. Is it workable for a console to be excessively open? For some time, the XPS 17 made them think perhaps. It's practically the size of a legitimate work area console, less the mathematical cushion, and takes a great deal of change in the event that you're utilized to a less sweeping PC format. With a touch of time, in any case, it developed on me. The tab, covers lock, shift and control keys are not difficult to track down in a rush, and the real activity is great, fresh and expedient, with a persuading sum regarding travel. While you're composing, it gives you space to move around. With respect to the trackpad, it's similarly as monstrous, estimating around 15 cm across and almost 9 cm profound. It's smooth, with great following and a lot of responsiveness, and you generally have the choice of a touchscreen assuming you like something like that. I'll concede that I would in general fail to remember it was there. There are two choices for marking in. The webcam handles Windows High Facial Acknowledgement, while there's likewise a unique finger impression scanner in the power key on the upper right corner of the console. Both work dependably and rapidly, so you will not need to stress over passwords or PINs more often than not. Screen, size and resolution are great for innovative applications and diversion. Elevated degrees of brilliance and difference for a PC IPS display. Great variety range inclusion and exactness. Having just barely surveyed the Dell XPS 15, with its dazzling 3.5 Kelvin OLED board, I a little of a reversal with the XPS 17's 4 Kelvin IPS display. It was a little, however not by, however much I'd at first dreaded. The display here is brilliant, Dell rates it at 500 nits, and its tones are rich and accurate. Whether going about my everyday responsibilities across office applications, watching Netflix, messing around or changing pictures for distribution, I was extremely blissful doing as such with this screen. How about we check the numbers out? The 4 Kelvin screen covers 100% of the sRGB range, and a dependable 95.2% of DCI-P3. 
I estimated the maximum brilliance at 467.4 nits, and with a 0.275 nit dark level, that provides us with a differentiation of 1686, 4 to 1. This multitude of figures are well better than expected for an IPS screen, even at this cost. In the meantime, the typical Delta E is awesome, at simply 0.75. Whether you're tuning photographs or playing HDR games and video, you won't find numerous PC LCDs that are more qualified. I'm similarly as intrigued by the sound. It's not marvelously profound or bassy, however there's some good tone, and a pleasant sound system soundstage that functions admirably for games and films. Assuming you plug in certain earphones, it will be more out of protection or thought for others than in light of the fact that you can't stand the result. That is not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Performance. Solid performance across most applications. 3D velocities could be better, yet are fine for imaginative applications and gaming. Security issues back up when pushed hard in present-day games. With 6 performance cores running at up to 4.7 GHz, and 8 proficient cores at up to 3.5 GHz, the Core i7-12700H is a fast chip. Toss the RTX 3060 in with the general mismatch and the Dell XPS 17 is somewhat quicker across a scope of utilizations than the XPS 15, which was itself a decent entertainer. The XPS 17's outcomes in Geekbench 5 and PC Imprint 10 additionally put it in front of other big screen superior performance laptops, like the Huawei MateBook 16S, Acer Swift Edge and LG Gram 16. Indeed, even top-of-the-line video and plan applications won't lead to any issues for this 17-incher and they're the very kind applications you'd likely purchase this PC for. The NVIDIA RTX 3060 likewise opens up some gaming potential open doors, despite the fact that I have a couple of provisos to add. This, right off the bat, is the 60-watt variant of the GPU what we'd have recently called the Max-Q form, so it can arrive at a similar 1 to 1702 MHz clock speeds as the 80W or 115-watt renditions. All things considered, it maxes out at 1,282 megahertz. Besides, I found that the lower part of the test got extremely hot during 3D designs and games testing, with the GPU temperature shutting in at around 90 degrees Celsius. There was a great deal of fan clamor by this point, and I really set the PC up marginally to give more space around the vents while gaming. Regardless, when the benchmarks would run on the XPS 17, it was altogether quicker than the XPS 15 and it's truly just the more expert gaming machines that will make it look slow. In addition, you can utilize DLSS to help your casing rates, and you truly need to do so in the event that you're wanting to run games at anything close to local screen resolutions as opposed to the Swamp Standard 1080p. Doing as such, I could get Skyline Zero Day Break running at a playable 44fps normal as opposed to a marginally janky 32fps. Battery Duration just 3 HRS and 37 minutes of office work, generally 3 HRS of gushing at full splendor. There is one region, tragically, in which the Dell XPS 17 matches gaming laptops, and that is all there is to it battery duration. 3 hours and 37 minutes is a disheartening outcome with my cutting-edge office benchmark, and keeping in mind that you will presumably get more with light perusing and office work. You actually won't endure a functioning day without a re-energize, particularly with the screen splendor turned up, we test at only 150 nits. Finally, thanks for watching this video, see you again next time.